So Roland, I think there's there's an important thing like that you were talking about there is I think especially today, maybe this I'm I'm appealing to my 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 generation here, is it like I think we feel so powerless sometimes uh, against government and like we don't have a say and there's no way, right? Um there's been several things in the past. You know, there was a time when ATT was trying to come in and put in thermostats and we got involved with that and you know, exit. Um yeah. there, there's there's just things that you know not everybody knows what happens on on in the back end that there's folks out there like myself because there's there's a lot of contractors that are involved with TACA um yeah. there's eight there's um 18 of us at the board that has associates as well that we meet every yeah. every um, quarter I mean I'm sorry yeah every quarter and we talk about you know what can we do for membership what can we do if there's a certain bill that Shannon Noble, our lobbyist, brings up and tells us she's always following everything that's going on uh, with bills that are trying to be passed? You know, there's a there, there's numerous things that if you didn't know as a contractor, it is mind boggling if you've never sat in a legislative session to listen to what you have to do as as a association to have them listen to you. You know, there's dues we got to pay. There's PAC money that's got to be, um, you know, even though there, there, there's membership meetings that we have and we talk about PAC money and we talk about this. If you didn't know what that money was for, it's money that we use to fight to protect us. Um, and if you don't have any money, you have no voice.